What is the deal with Kleinman versus Wright and should you care? For those of you who aren't familiar, I'll give you like the 10 second or one minute rundown. So Craig Wright is the self-proclaimed Satoshi Nakatomo, the founder of Bitcoin. So he has alleged, but never been able to approve or prove. And he's being sued by the estate, the, the brother of this David Kleinman, who was allegedly his partner, Wright's partner, in founding and developing Bitcoin. And at the heart of this lawsuit is the late brother's share of Satoshi's wallet, right? Which Wright claims to have access to, but has at many times failed to prove that he has the keys to. And there's 1.1 million Bitcoin in this wallet, which obviously is verifiable. And, you know, the reality is, you know, could that crush the market? I mean, you know, to a degree, if someone was inclined to just dump it, but it's a lot to dump, right? There's 19 million Bitcoin in circulation minus however, you know, million or more that have been lost and, you know, are like sitting in the landfill somewhere. Um, but, you know, the reality is it's there's a lot of interest at play because there's a lot of money at play. But, you know, for the rank and file trader, do I find any like interest or need to be involved in this? No, it's crap. Who cares? Who gives a shit what these two yahoos think, right? I think it's a cash grab and I think Wright's a phony. You know, Wright's defense since the beginning has been that he's a he's got autism and that kids made fun of him so he he fell into cryptography that was 40 years ago that didn't even exist right and it's nonsense even if he did sorry the kid was bullied but it makes no sense it makes no sense whatsoever and so all this talk about it and like who's satoshi that doesn't mean anything right you can't change anything satoshi doesn't have the keys to anything other than a lot of bitcoin right all this does is make somebody rich so all this rah rah back and forth on like social media about who's got, you know, who's Satoshi and who's this and who, who cares? It's just gonna make somebody rich and it's not you, right? It's definitely not you. So who gives a shit? That's what I say. And Kleinman and Wright, they're both egomaniacs, right? And Wright's off, you know, he's off kilter as it is. I don't know if he's autistic or what, but he's not all, he's not all there. He's not playing with the full deck. So, you know, take it for what it's worth, but don't take a lot into it and don't involve yourself in it. If, if it's up to me, I don't. You know, and I come from a legal background and I don't find anything interesting in it other than you have people claiming to be someone that they're probably not or can't prove that they are. And it really, at the end of the day, it just comes down to a cash grab. And so whoever Satoshi is, if Satoshi showed up tomorrow and it just turned out to actually be some guy from Japan named Satoshi, so what? He can't change anything. The blockchain's immutable, right? There's nothing he can do. And there's nothing he can do to change anything. There's nothing he can do to make Bitcoin better. And people are making it better without him, right? Like his initial, his initial iteration of Bitcoin sucked, it sucked. Lightning Network, it's an attempt, right? So this whole thing, Climate V. Right, for all the press it gets, for, for all that, it's not gonna set any precedent that's relevant in law. It's not gonna change anything as, as it relates to Bitcoin and its value. And it's certainly not gonna change your life. So that's my rant, right? Because I, I, get, I get fielded with questions and I've talked to the press about it and people say, well, you know, what do you think about this? And I don't think anything about it because I think it's a waste of time, right? It's except for the people involved and the attorneys involved who are getting paid well to do it. I think it's a complete waste of time. And my advice to anybody, not that you asked for my advice, is don't waste your time in it either because it's not going anywhere. So climbing V right, no, waste of time. But if you really want to talk about it, hit me up. Adam at Adam Tracy, T-R-A-C-Y dot I-O, and I'll talk to you later. Cheers.